hello there and welcome to day four of the cake dream to cake biz challenge you guys we are almost there i'm super 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 excited once again to be hosting you guys on this challenge and yes i had a hairdo you know i need to show up for you guys and um make it look like there's something exciting happening and there is actually something exciting happening um i'm very thrilled um to talk to you guys about my five secrets to get returning clients on monday uh 27th july guys make sure you're attending the master class and that's i'm also getting ready so i had a hairdo for that so guys um let's get into this today we will be talking about um visioning um and the importance of having a vision right so this is the cake dream to cake based challenge so the wording in itself already tells you where we want to go we want to go from a dream to a business right so if you're having a cake dream we want to help you to transition into having a cake business so um just want to make a reflection and let you know if you've not um if you've not watched the first three days of this challenge, just make sure that you please do go back and watch those. On the first day, we spoke about um, your money mindset, and that is really key in you having the correct frame of mind to be in a business or to actually be in a position to make profit and to roll those profits. And it's very important to have a positive money mindset because it really puts you in a position to be able to make better decisions for your business. Then we spoke about your money story and we said everyone has a money story you have a money story i have a money story i have reasons why i make certain decisions you have reasons why you made certain or are making certain decisions in your life financially so we spoke about your money story on day two day three we spoke about that very 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 burning topic in the cake world pricing pricing your custom cakes because i don't want you if you are in the estes baking academy community i don't want you to ever go around asking people what should i charge for this price i mean for this cake i don't want you to feel insecure for charging a certain price you know um a, a, a caker next to you can charge a certain amount that's lower than your cakes but if you know who your ideal client is and that we will talk about in a whole different um environment or in a whole different setting for now in this challenge we are talking about pricing so if you know what you're all about if you know what your business is all about then guys you don't have to worry about other cakes and what they are charging because everybody has their reasons for charging what they charge and we also mentioned in day three that um, cakers that are just coming into the industry have a tendency of underpricing and they are undercutting the entire industry. They are making it difficult for all of us. And then they realize that cake is not cheap. And then they start to, um, in, they want to increase their prices. By the time they want to increase their prices, they realize that they're losing clients. And so it's a frustration. So from the onset, we just want to help you to do things right, okay? And to put out the correct message to your clients and to everybody else that is um, wanting a custom cake that cakes are not cheap it's a luxury product and all that so we spoke about that in day three so today we want to help you and we want to talk more about um visioning and having a cake vision or having a cake vision board right so I'm, i just want to really deep dive into why it's important guys to uh you know to have a what do we call it why it's important to have a vision in life visioning is very important because it helps you to cast a hope into the future visioning helps you to um to make a plan ahead of you to make a plan that is bigger than who you are right now a dream is something that um is bigger than who you are right now and a, um, a very famous quote says that if your dreams don't scare you then they are not big enough right so you need to have uh, visions you need to have dreams you need to have those things that are pulling you forward pushing you forward right so visions and dreams are those things that push us to the next level and that's why it's so 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 important to dream so i wouldn't say that because you don't have money because you don't have the resources because you don't have the brick and mortar bakery that you want to move into one day because you don't have the cake supplies or the startup capital i wouldn't say that you should not dream okay dream 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 um, you need to always plan ahead of time. You need to always 
you know, look ahead of yourself so that you are able to put yourself in a position where you know what it is that you want. Dreaming and planning and having a vision actually helps you to craft something for today. And that's something, I mean, something for the future while you are in the present, right? So you do that right now and you are actually doing it for the future. And, you know, all businesses, all big brands, all big businesses that are where they are today started with a vision. It started with a dream. It started with an, um, an aspiration, with a desire of wanting something greater than who someone was at that specific point in time. So your dream, your vision is greater than who you are in the present moment. Um, you won't dream to have something that you have right now, right? You always dream to have something that is not there right now. So it's always bigger than who you are right now. So I want you guys to dream. If you have dreams, jot them down, right? So things like diaries, things like planners, things like journals. These are things that we should have handy as cake artists. We should always have those diaries ready. We should have our journals ready. We should have writing aids ready. And I mentioned to you guys that as we are joining this challenge, make sure that you download the workbook. And that workbook, um, workbook is full of um full of resources for you to download i mean to to basically jot down those thoughts those ideas those things that are just coming to your mind you know as we are going through this challenge so um yeah that is that is what i want you to do um today's homework is not something big guys um i know the first three days have been really 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 how can i put it it's, it's been a little bit challenging and i know that it pushed you and it stretched you a little bit so i decided to make today a little bit easier for you guys to complete so what i want you to do is i'm not sure for the iphone users but i know that if you are a Android user, and I'm sure there are so there are multiple apps that you can download. I want I want you to download one app, okay? Kalage Maker. So it's C O L L A G E Kalage Maker. So download that app, and then I want you to go online, go on Google or whatever browser you may have on your I mean on your phone. I want you to do this on your phone, right? Go and download Google some images of um the type of cake room that you perhaps want the type of um um kitchen cake kitchen that you want the type of cake supplies that you want and i know that a lot of bakers want a canwood mixer make sure you list that as well download a picture of a canwood mixer download that airbrush that you want um download whatever it is that inspires you that helps you or that really motivates you to go to the next level download pictures of cakes that you want the type of cakes that you want to do in the future and then um, I want you to go into Calage app and then I want you to Calage those images. You can Calage four images or you can Calage more than one picture. And then I want you to upload that in the in the group and, and just let us know what it is that um, what your vision board looks like. If it's possible, uh, possible at all, sorry for that. If it's possible at all, I want you to print it out and put it out somewhere in your kitchen or your fridge or wherever it is, guys, that you are always around. Maybe you can put it up um, next to your mirror or just put it somewhere where you can always see it, right? Um, the, the purpose of this exercise is it's, it's, mental, um, it's, it's mental, mentally awakening. It awakens you to that dream. When you see that, and I have a vision board. Um, I have a vision board where I actually put all my stuff and I'm going to post something that is related to it. I post things that I want, you know, guys, um, things that I want to achieve in my business. I have a vision board and I've already ticked off multiple things. I started my vision board in January this year and I like to do a vision board every year. And um, for my cake business, I also have a vision board. And I've already ticked off multiple things from my vision board, things that I want to achieve, things that I wanted to buy. And I did not have the money when I started um, putting out those pictures on my vision board. But the moment that I put it out on my vision board and plugged it around a place in my home, where I can always see it. It always reminded me of my dream. It reminded me of where I want to be. And then I took those steps. I took those deliberate attempts to get to where I want to be. I mentioned to you guys earlier this, um, I think this month or I think two months back, probably a month back, that I made one of the 
biggest investment in my life and in my business. It was totally, I had to bite off my lip to, 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 to basically make that decision that it's back now, right? So I had to, you know, it was not something easy. It was very difficult for me to take that financial decision to make that investment decision. Not easy at all, but because I had it on my vision board, I took that opportunity that came to my life and I actually made a big investment that is currently pushing my brand and my business to the next level. Um, so I want you guys to do the same. Whatever it is, guys, that you are dreaming about, don't say this is too big to achieve. It's too big of a goal. Um, it's too ahead of me. Just put it in your vision board. Action leads to clarity. You might not know all the things that you need to uh, to juggle around your life, to juggle around your business, to get things lining up for you. But then let's just get those vision boards ready. Let's just get those goals jotted down. If you have a diary, if you have a journal, do that. Um, I cannot remember, but I, I have this um, service that I'm using online and um, it allows you to email yourself in the future. So right now you can email yourself and then they will maybe deliver that email like after a year or so. And I like to like write to myself in the future. And I like to tell myself, okay, Esther, um, by this time, 2020, or by this time, 2013 or 2050, you said you should have achieved ABC goals. How are you doing with these goals? I like to ask myself what I did or what I wanted to achieve. And I ask myself in the future, how far, uh, how far long are you with that? Have you achieved this goal? Have you done ABCD? How far are you? And I'm like, oh, wow. You know, when I receive those emails, I'm like, oh, wow, it's true. This is what I wanted to do. But actually, I I went ahead and I achieved this and I even um, met my expectations. You know, I exceeded my expectations perhaps. And for other goals, it might not be the same. But it really just, you know, brings you in that place where you are able to reflect on what it is that you want, reflect on where you want it to be. And so in, in the future, you know, some of these vision items that you're putting on your vision board or things that you are wanting to achieve might not be relevant. You'd be like, because action leads to clarity because you actually put it, those dreams and goals down as you start working and implementing um, them in your life, you will realize that, you know, some of them may not be relevant. Maybe you have been exaggerating on some of the goals that you wanted to achieve because simply because when you start putting in action, there is that clarity. Clarity comes and then you're like, oh, so I can juggle this around this way so i can actually get to step b by doing this so i don't need to have this to go to that next stage or to that next level so that is how life is you know when you take that action in your life um clarity comes so focus on that if there's anything that you are going to take away from this uh, is to create a vision board and that action leads to clarity so that is it um for day four remember we will be doing day um, five. I would like to call it day five, but then it's actually the masterclass on Monday. And that would be the five secrets, my five secrets to getting returning clients in your cake business. Guys, I'm super excited for that as well. And I hope that I'll see you catch up over the weekend. Make sure that you complete all your homework exercises, complete those if you want to stand a chance to win those lovely prizes because they are all for you. Until next time, guys, it's just for me.